Welcome to BKW Physics. I'm Mr. McConley. And today's Halloween, so this lesson will have some disturbingly odd things in it. And I don't want you to be concerned. This is it's not like there's something wrong with me. It's Halloween. I'm just trying to make it entertaining for folks that are watching and the folks in the classroom. And this one also goes out to Travis, who is homesick today. So we're gonna we're gonna do a net force problem here. And with this net force problem. I want you to imagine this person here pushing this crate. And of course, there's something in the crate. How do I know? Because it's leaking out. I, I am assuming this disturbed individual has recently murdered some people. And he's trying to get rid of the parts in the box here. And so what he's doing is he's pushing this box of parts across his yard. And he's getting really tired, though, because he's this very heavy. You know, people are very heavy. So he's pushing this. He's getting very tired. And he's, he's, taking, he's going to take a rest right now and stop pushing. And there's some snow cover on the ground right now, so this box is going to slide to a stop on its own. But it's moving pretty easily because of the fact there's some snow, so it's actually sliding on the ground. So here's the facts of what we know. This, this box here, let's have it weigh only, let's make it light, let's make it 20 newtons. So this has a weight of 20 newtons. And what else do we know? We know that the force of friction here is actually 2.4 newtons because it's a very slick surface due to the snow that I was telling you about. And I guess I want to know, when he stops pushing here, when he's pushing, 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 and then he stops, what's the acceleration of the box? So where do we start? Where do we start? Volunteers on that. That's the first thing we always do in these problems. Charlie, help me out. Uh, right at your equation. Okay, what do you want it to be? Uh, F net plus F net equals F G plus F net plus. Now hold on, hold on, hold on. We seem like we forgot to label our pictures. So I heard you say that you wanted an F G. So I, I need that on my picture. And I heard you say you wanted an F N. So that better be on my picture. Yeah, right. And what else did you say? Uh, force of application and force of friction. Force of friction. And since he's pushing it this way, the force of friction opposes the motion direction. So that would be this way. Is there an applied force? Yeah. He's letting it slide on oh, stop. No. So does that change your opinion? Yeah. Yeah. No apply force here. So all I gotta add on the end is force of friction. Okay, so now the net force can also be equal to what? Max. Net force, same as Mass time of acceleration, very good. Force of gravity, same as Kristen? Um, it's mass times gravity. Yeah. But you could have called me off on that one because really, what do you know about these two things? These two things are equal and opposite. Because it's sitting on flat ground, it's not hovering or it's not being dropped or something like that. So they're actually gone. And then the force of friction, I'm going to leave it as the force of friction because I was given the force of friction. Now, normally in some of these problems we've been working on recently, I actually um, had to find the mu value or something like that. But in this case, I gave you the force of friction. So, boom, I can plug it right in. Um, but I got a little bit of a problem here, because I have this information, and now I think I'm ready to plug in, because I really want to solve for the acceleration, but I don't have the mass. 
So what little sort of side problem do I have to do to determine my mass in this case? Ideas? I want to know the mass. Can you see that in the video, the green? Yeah. Yeah. What am I going to do to get mass? What's the relationship between weight and mass? That's what I'm really asking you. How are the two tied together? Better look at your reference table. Take a second, find that. Weight and mass. And while you're looking that up, what are the letters, the variables that they use for weight? There's no W on your reference table. So what are they going to use for weight? You find it in there? Hmm? Yeah. Weight is the same as FG. Very good. So weight's the same as FG. So then what equation are we going to use if we're trying to get the mass and we got FG? Go ahead and finish it. Finish your thoughts. What's the equation that ties mass and FG together? See it there? No? Go on, friend. Find that plate. So, if we need to know the mass, or we want to know the mass, we're going to rearrange this equation, and we're going to get that it's the force of gravity divided by gravity. So in other words, it's the weight, the force of gravity, 20 newtons, divided by negative 9.81 meter per second squared. Number is? It's around 2, but not exactly, I guess. Negative 2.04. 2.04. And that's in kilograms. Okay, that's the mass. Now, the whole reason I was doing that little side problem is because I just needed it right here. I just wanted to plug it in right here. So, 2.04 kilograms. Acceleration is the one I'm trying to find. And then the force of friction is a 2.2 newton force. So, what I'm going to do is 2.4 newtons divided by 2.04 kilograms. And the acceleration turns out to be, looking at my notes, about a 1.18 meter per second squared. Now, I've kind of left off negatives and whatnot. So, if I actually thought of friction as being opposite in your direction of motion, that would put a negative there which would put a negative there, which would make this a negative acceleration, which would make sense because I'm trying to go this way, and then the acceleration is slowing me down opposite to the direction of my motion. So if you're pushing a box of dead bodies around and you stop pushing and it slides to a stop on snow, the acceleration might be a negative 1.18. So for today, physics.